something comes up that I want to do, and this is what the writer said, it sounds good, feels good, and can even be good, be good. However, if I do not have peace about it, I have learned to leave it alone. Occasionally, I am offered an opportunity for a, for a speaking engagement that I want to take, but I do not have peace about it. I do not know why, but sometimes the peace is just not there. I have learned that if I take the opportunity away, I always find out later the reason I should have followed peace and declined the offer. One engagement I remember was when I first started traveling. I received an invitation to speak at a church in Texas. I was so excited that I immediately said I would go. As my emotions calmed down, I got a gnawing feeling inside every time I, I thought about it. It got stronger and stronger, stronger. I plainly had no peace about going, and yet God gave me no reason for the unrest. I waited and waited. Finally, I knew I had to calm, call them and ask for a release from that commitment. I told them I would come if they could not find a suitable replacement. But for, for, but for some reason, I had no peace about going. They released me from the commitment. A few weeks later, I found out that my home church was dedicating their new building the, the weekend I would have been gone. I was an associate pastor in that church for quite some time, and, and it was very important for me to be with them on that occasion. Why didn't the Lord just tell me what was going on? For some reason, he chose not to. His word says to be led by peace. Many times, that is all he will give you to, to let you know if you are in or out of his will. Later, you may know why or you may not know why. Be led by peace. Do not buy something, especially a major purchase, if you do not have peace about it. No matter how much you want it, you will be sorry if you go against the lean of the Holy Spirit. Take time to acknowledge God in all your ways and He will direct your path. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3 and 6 says, You will never enjoy a peaceful life mm -hmm. if you disobey His lead and follow your own will. If you do so, if, if you do obey His guidance and follow peace, you will be blessed. Yeah. And so I'm going to leave you with my new testimony of something that happened a few years back when a family member it uh, invited uh, Bishop and myself and whole family to his home, mm -hmm. and a uh, big, beautiful home. We never, I've never been there, but I'm told. Anyway, I didn't feel peace about going, so I told Bishop. I said, "Well, you can go because it's really his brother." He said, "You?" I said, "You can go." We got no he went without without me, us. He said, no, I don't want to go with that, y'all. I said, well, you just go and, you know, tell me how it was and everything. But I don't feel peace back going, so I'm not going. And so I didn't know why. And um, I, did, I just didn't, didn't feel peace back, and I wasn't going. I wasn't going to go. And, and shortly after that, he was talking to the relative's wife, and, um, and she said, I was listening to his conversation, he said, oh, you mean he didn't tell, tell you that he invited us? I said, thank you, Jesus. That's what it was. Uh -huh. See, I didn't know, but I've just been listening to the speaker and speaking about peace, and I didn't know about it. It was, it was George Meyer had been listening to him a few years back. I said, she right. I'm not going to walk against that feeling, that, that uh, inner, inner witness. And so and I heard, heard him say, you mean he didn't tell you? Uh -huh. Did he invite her? And uh, she, she said, oh, he's obviously saying no. I said, thank you, Jesus. She hit me. I said, that's what it was. I thank you, Jesus. And so she asked to speak to me. And she said, well, if he told y'all that it was all right, he said, it's all right for y'all to come if he invites you. I said, no, it's not. Uh -huh. And she was trying to give me every reason why it was all right. I said, no. I, I, I didn't care what she said. I, I still had a piece in what she was saying. Because uh -huh. sometimes people don't tell you the truth. So anyway, I said, no. If we, we had came, and I went against that inner witness, and we had came, she, I can already visualize she was, she was real funny. I, I wouldn't, and so I told this individual, I said, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. If my husband invites a family, his family, whoever, 
and to, to the house, and he didn't tell me, I would not like it. So in same by the same token, I don't think you would like it. Mm -hmm. I said, but I think and praise God. So I said, that's why I didn't feel peace. And so another um, in-law said, next time tell them, for what? Mm -hmm. If God don't put, what tell them for? Mm -hmm. If God can give me peace, what I'm gonna tell them? God, God need to give me peace back. They gonna try to talk me out of it. Mm -hmm. They're not God. So we have to keep our eyes on God and Him, His Spirit, and Him, His Spirit alone. Amen. If He don't give you peace about things, they just read to you. She said, she said He didn't give me peace. This was Joyce Mount, and this was her testimony. She said He didn't give me peace about going to speak on that engagement, and she said He. A lot of times she won't tell you why. She found found out why later on because her church was having a, a big to do, and she was associate pastor. It was very important for her to be there, but she didn't know that at the time. She just said she didn't have peace about going to speak in this engagement, and they they let her out, let her out of that commitment. So it's okay. They they, they, they expect, no longer expect her to come because she didn't have peace about. It. But she found out later. She said she said the question was asked. Why God didn't tell me? He won't always tell you. Uh -huh. He wants us to rely on what He told us. He, he, if you don't have peace about something, just don't do it. Uh -huh. And you, you may not ever. Sometimes you may not ever find out why. Why did God did not have peace? Sometimes He will let you know afterwards, and sometimes He won't. But He God wants us to follow our inner witness. You don't feel right. But me, I don't feel right about something. That that's why when we are when God changed your life, I said about me. When He changed my life, I, I the next day I have to still feel good about it. So that, that's when it comes down on me. If I say something wrong, treat somebody wrong, say something bad about something about them, it may have to be that bad. But it's bothers you know, it bothers me that next day. And I like having peace. If I yell and I make them worry about something. Oh God, I like that feeling. If I'm worried about it, that means they don't have no peace about the way I handle it. Mm -hmm. So I like I like having peace. I like having that inner witness of peace. And you you would do the two. Anybody anybody would like, like having that inner witness of peace. So I thank you, praise God. Even if my even my husband say, uh, we don't want to say to answer, well, Bishop, I don't want to go and feel peace about this. I don't want to go. If somebody comes in my house and invite me to go somewhere with them, I don't feel peace. I'm still, I don't feel peace about it. I'm not going. Have an in law, I'm done. Invite me somewhere, uh, just right here, this way, uh, somewhere that didn't did feel peace about going there. And so I didn't go. So I entertained somebody one time and said, you know, I'm, I'm on medication that. Uh, high blood pressure pills, um, medication, low dose, but too still, and it causes me to uh, go to go to sleep. And so I'm told by my husband that I snore, and I'm not sitting up in no chair having people laughing at me while I'm sitting up there snoring. So it, you know, that's something that's simplistic. If I don't feel peace about it, I know I took my medicine, I know that I'm gonna sit there and be going to sleep and have people let, they hear me snoring, they gonna laugh at me. I don't feel peace about it, so I'm not going. Sometimes God will let you know, and sometimes He won't let you know. But in His money, but He does not. Let um let the peace of God be your umpire today, because that's the only thing you want to have to go on sometimes. That's that peace. Whether you should do something and not do it, whether you should buy something and don't buy it, uh -huh. whatever crucial decision that comes in your life, uh -huh. whether you should go somewhere or don't go, you don't know why he's telling you that. Something can happen. And now each time so far, very few times God didn't let me know. Most of the time, something come up later on, and I found out, I said, thank you, Jesus. If I had went, I would have been involved in that mess. Thank you, Jesus. I did. Did you need to give me no peace, a peace about it? And I didn't do it. So, I, Lord, I thank you. Amen. So, I thank and praise God for Jesus. And I thank and praise God for the peace of God. I called a loved one in um, the out of town. And the yelled out, oh, I said, what's wrong with you? And so, anyway, the peace of God. <laughs> But I'm finding that I cut myself on off. I see. I, I obviously don't feel like no talking. I told him I would call him so I would keep my word. Then I 
can't then talk back no way. So I say, I'm flat my cut my cell phone off if you get later and later. I said, I don't want them calling me real late. No how. I'm cutting my cell phone off, obviously in a bad mood. I cut it off, you know, I feel pissed about going doing that and going 